Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and a very good morning to you all. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidi al-anbiya wal mursaleen wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Amma ba'd, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillahi r-rahman r-rahim man amila saliham min zakarin aw umsa wa huwa mu'min wa huwa mu'min wa fala nuhiyannahu hayata wa tayyiba صدق الله العظيم. Honorable President of today's program, respected chief guest, the most prominent judges and other dignitaries on the dais, my beloved teachers and my dear audience, with a great sincerity, I would like to stand here on the dais to put across of my views about the role of women in the upliftment of the society. Ladies and gentlemen, women are highly valuable in Islam. They play significant roles in building our society right from their birth till the end of the life. Our society is mostly male dominated, but the development of a family or a society or a community and a large nation cannot be formulated by ignoring the contribution of women. Every female contributes sometimes as a daughter, sometimes as a wife, sometimes as a mother and grandmother. It is rightly said that mother is the foundation of a nation. It clarifies the sense that how important it is to value the roles of women in building our nation. Even nation can be built well if the society is built well. The society can be built well if the women are uplifted and facilitated with education, righteousness, justice and respect. My dear audience, in Islam, women are given high position. Islam considers them an equal entity and declares their status as a beneficial and important part of the society and did whatever possible way to respect them in the society. Islam entitles women in the field of education the same rights as men. Allah Almighty encourages women to read and keep up the learning process. He also bestows His mercy upon all who seek knowledge and give them high status. That's our Prophet said, طَلَبُ الْعِلْمِ فَرِيدَةً عَلَىٰ كُلِّ مُسْلِمٍ وَمُسْلِمًا Acquiring knowledge is the duty of every Muslim man and woman. From the saying of Prophet ﷺ, we can say that education is compulsory for both man and woman. My dear audience, although women are physically, psychologically and physiologically not equal to man, but their roles in upliftment of the society are highly mentionable, honorable and appreciable everywhere in the society. It is the woman who makes up half of the society and they are responsible for the nurturing, guidance and transformation of the successive generation. My dear audience, we have so far seen how women have done a lot for all around development of our society and have contributed lots of sacrifices for our bright future. Now it's our time to give them proper respects and due rights. We should keep their position high in the society. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us strength and ability to obtain peace and prosperity here and hereafter. With these few words, I conclude my topic here. Thanking you all wonderful people for listening to me with a great patience. Thank you and have a fantastic day.